Hi, it's Nick from Hobby Electronics and in this video I'll be showing you how to get started with the Blink application using the ESP8266 module. For this project you will need an ESP8266 module that has the Lua firmware on it. If your board doesn't have the Lua firmware on it, you can learn how to do this using my Getting Started guide. You'll also need a prototyping breadboard. And as this board has an analog input, I'll be using some jumper wires and a potentiometer to test out Blink. To begin we can insert the ESP8266 module into the breadboard, followed by inserting the potentiometer. And connecting the pins of the potentiometer to the 33 volt pin, ground and analog input on the ESP8266 module. Now connect your ESP8266 module to a computer that has the Arduino IDE on it, followed by downloading the Blink library. We can then install this library using the Include Library tool found under the Sketch menu. We can now download the Blink app onto our mobile device. This is available on both iOS and Android. With the app now on your device, you can launch it and either sign in with your existing account or create a new one. You can now create a new Blink project and select the ESP8266 as the project device, followed by dragging in the modules that you would like to use in your project and assigning them to the pins of your board. To complete this project, you need to enter the Blink Project Authentication token into your Arduino sketch and upload the code to the board. After pressing the Run button in the application, you'll be able to control the I.O. of the board, or in this case you'll be able to see the potentiometer value in graph form. 